everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. As you can see, we are just in time to see our Asian water monitor having a little baby. Well, a few little babies because I think they can have quite a lot of them. So far, we're already on three babies and I'm kind of hoping for more. Oh my gosh, four already. Oh, okay, so we have four little babies, which is insane. I'm so happy about that because now it's gonna look a lot fuller in here. We're gonna have a lot of little babies running around and swimming and having fun. And you know what? I think that's very nice. I do wonder how they are looking with water. Oh yeah. And also we seem to be having trouble with cleanliness. Is that like a why though? I'm pretty sure there is a water thing here somewhere. Like yeah, the oh, this one needs a water thing, my bob. Okay, that makes sense. I think we should probably get one for over here and maybe expand this pool as well because they definitely need a little bit more space for that. So first things first, definitely going to be adding a water cleanliness thing over here okay so i added it in and it's in a really weird place and i truly truly do not want to make it look any better because why would i want to waste my time like that i truly don't <laughs> i don't want to be doing none of that so what i'm going to do is i'm i'm just gonna cover it up with the big rock that seems to be the best possible solution at the moment um because yeah i'm definitely not gonna struggle with this there we go, nobody's ever gonna know. I also added in the little rope that I was talking about and some fences as well as a do not cross here sign. And from over here, you can't even tell that anything is different. So the only thing I'll have to do right now for this is going to be to add it into my work zone so that mechanics and everything can work on it as well. There we go, so this is supposed to clean the water. Because, yeah, I did, not, I did not realize that we were going to have a bit of a water issue over here. But this is supposed to be clean now anytime. There we go. That's lovely. I'm hoping this is enough now. I don't think it's going to be absolutely perfect. But I think it's going to be... It's a lot closer. And you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with it being a little bit short as long as it's not too short. And I think we can maybe also start improving their meal quality again for all of the animals because we are doing very well with money at the moment. So I'm going to put everybody on grade 3 quality food. At least if my money goes down rapidly, I know what it is and I can very easily fix that. So for now, I'm going to keep everybody on three. But if it is going to eat my money up like nobody's business, I'm going to take it back down to one. But I do also want to show you guys that the Eldorada or Eldora, I think Eldora tortoise has gotten more babies. So now there's a lot of them in here. They had like three more babies. You see another one over here. So yeah, you can really see a lot of tortoises at this point which is just lovely and i think we're done with this research yes we are so we are on a very good start this episode and i think that yeah today we are going to be doing the lar gibbon i have decided that between the fossa or fossa or whatever and the lar gibbon i want to do the lar gibbon here because first of all i think it's going to be a lot more challenging given that they're monkeys. They can jump and it's going to be hard to make this kind of work with monkeys. And yeah, I'm much more excited about them than I are for the Fosos. So I'm really excited to do that today. But yeah, I don't think there's much else for me to talk about. I think I mentioned everything that I wanted to mention for now. So I think the only thing left to do is to start with the speed build for today.
Okay, so that was a very exciting time for me. I really enjoyed making this. If you don't know where we are now, we're near the Tapir and Anteater area. And if we go up here, this is where we would find the dome area but i did also make this area look nicer i think i should maybe put like some sort of a barrier here because this is quite dangerous but let me show you guys this area so i kind of just finished everything off in this general area but coming over this way is where we have the now completed dome and down that way are the sloths so just so that you guys kind of know where we are but coming through the dome this is the most exciting part about the dome obviously is going inside of it this side we have the ancient water monitors and then if we look over this way is where we will see the habitat for the Largibbons. Now obviously it's a very windy path but once you make it this way is when you will kind of see them a lot better. Let me actually play because I have no idea where they are currently. Oh look at that! Look at the little monkey running! <laughs> I tried to add more of them in here, but what I didn't realize is that they function the same way as the Siamang or Siamang or whatever, you know, the other monkeys that are quite like them. They need to be family to actually want to be in the same habitat. So I could only add two of them in here, unfortunately. So I'm hoping for them to have babies very soon so that we can see a lot more of them running around. Because this is a pretty big habitat. There is so much space. Way, way too much space for only two little monkeys. Oh, and now it's nighttime. There we go. Okay, back to day. We wind around the path again. I like this path mainly because you can really glimpse at both animals. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. And then when you turn back and go further through the path, maybe I should just do this so that we can see a bit better because as you can see, there's a lot of people on this little path. I don't know how this bridge is stable enough to hold everybody up, but anywho, as you can see, the monkeys are so cute. What the heck? Oh, well, anyway, I wanted to pause because I don't know how it is lag-wise, but as you can see back down, this is kind of what you see from the guest perspective. I love the roof and everything. It looks so nice, but I do think for viewing purposes, I will be doing this for now. But yeah, so you can kind of see outside as well. That's one thing I realized um, that I didn't really think of when I made a giant glass dome is that people on the outside can also look in but coming outside as you can see this area is completely finished now besides obviously the fact that it's a cliff that just drops down into nowhere but looking over this way you see the outdoor area look at that oh my gosh wait so this is the habitat from afar it's really pretty hard to see them but i did want to make sure they won't be able to escape easily but as you can see there's a little monkey hanging it is a bit weird with the larger um wood beams but honestly what the hey some of these uh, animations look really weird but honestly it's fine it's fine it's not that bad i think <laughs> you know it's because my game is on two times speed currently uh, i i thought these monkeys were just very fast but <laughs> it's not as bad as i thought but anyway <laughs> Let me show you guys this area a little bit more. If you come along this way, you find a few seating areas and you can kind of look at the monkeys the whole way around, depending on where they are, obviously. But yeah, I think it's so nice that you can have this outdoor area where you can see them walking along if you want to. Oh my gosh, it's so cute how they walk. I absolutely love that. And then you can kind of wind down this path back to the starting area where I showed you guys. But you can also kind of spot the bongos from over here. That's why a lot of people are staring from this way. Because you get a view of the bongos from up here as well. Which I didn't intend for that to happen. But I think it's very nice that it's actually like 
you can see other animals from this path. I love that so much. I love the Margos, so I mean, very happy about that. And you can kind of see the monkeys from here as well, again, depending on where they are in the habitat. But I'm not gonna go back this way now because there are still a few things that I want to show you guys on this side, which is the restaurant. This restaurant was a last minute addition, if I'm honest. I wasn't going to add a restaurant here, but I know what I want to add here, and I think that this would be so cool. Like, imagine you go and sit down here on glass and there's a animal beneath you being all crazy what the heck why is she licking her chips I, is this how people eat chips am i just not in the know now anyway <laughs> so i thought this was really cool to add like this glass floor area and there's also seating above which i will show you guys afterwards but this is kind of what the restaurant is like and if you go oh my goodness if you go over this way on this side we only have plants and stuff so this is a really large walking area so i'm very excited to start with this habitat i know i said i was going to start with something on the other side of the zoo but i'm kind of really excited to start with this habitat so i think that's what i'm going to be doing next time but if i show you guys this from above so this is kind of the area with the restaurant so this is gonna be a big habitat i'm gonna kind of close it off over here with more mountains so this is kind of gonna be the end of this whole entire area once i'm done with this habitat and then i'll kind of continue on as i go and yeah we're not gonna have too many more habitats but as you can see we also have this large path going down to this area again but i wanted to show you guys the inside of the upper area first it's nothing special really like it's only a little indoor area maybe i can kind of do this yes so i can show you guys kind of what it's like in here it's not too special there's just a few seats and stuff but i do think it's gonna be very nice nonetheless like sitting here looking outside to all of the surrounding areas i think this would probably be the best seating because you're gonna see whatever is over there eventually yeah it's not too special but i do very much like it i'm obsessed with the restaurants i love that you can just put tables literally anywhere and they will sit there but yeah i'm very excited next time i will be doing something over here hopefully and then continue on kind of towards this way and then maybe we conclude everything in the middle because the zoo isn't gonna be that big anymore there's not too many things that i still want to add so yeah i'm pretty sad that there's not going to be too many more episodes but at the same time i'm very happy because then this would be the first zoo that i've ever completed in my life and you know what that's exciting that is very exciting stuff and i'm looking forward to finishing this but it's also it's like bittersweet stuff look at the monkeys oh my goodness i love them so much but I think with that I will end this off here so thank you all so so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and I will definitely see you all in another video goodbye everybody